What's going on guys, Urban Philly John here with thefitnessjournals.com. So today, I'm actually recording for the first time the 50-50-50-50 routine. So I'm gonna do a voiceover, the, the music, I don't want the music to copyright me, so I'm just gonna do the routine, I'm gonna show you, but what it consists of, 50 pull-ups, um, 50 inverted rows, 50, 50 dips, 50 push-ups, 50 jump squats, and I'm probably gonna try 50 burpees. So I personally now do with the vest and with the ankle weights. So um, that's 60 pounds, and I'm probably gonna add a little bit more weight by doing it with um, probably 10 pounds uh, with the additional belt on there. So I'm gonna go through it twice. I did it twice last week. I did it with the, with the vest, with the weight, and without the weight. Um, I'm probably gonna try and do it three times. We're gonna see, we're pushing it. Remember, progressive overload. So I already did that routine twice with the 60 pounds. Uh, I, I'm talking about like on separate days, not like two rounds. I've done it twice before I moved up into uh, more volume, which I did more volume by dropping the weight, uh, dropping the vest, and doing it with my body weight only. So I'm gonna demonstrate it, I'm gonna show you guys so what I'm saying makes sense right now. So that's it guys, this is a high volume routine. I'm telling you, this routine is crazy. And another thing I want to mention, uh, as far as like calf growth, I've never experienced as much calf growth as I, as I have doing jump ropes. Um, jump roping for, uh, I, I, if, you, if you are following me on, on Instagram, then you know what that routine was. It was uh, uh, three minutes jumping, three minutes jumping, 30 seconds rest, uh, and you do that for 10 sets. I'm gonna ride over the screen just to make sure. If not, I'll just do a voiceover and update you guys. So I always start by doing the jump rope routine and I'm probably gonna do like some mobility stuff and that's it. So anyway, I think I talked enough, you guys will get it. I'm gonna do a voiceover so you understand. Let's get into the video. Three, yeah, yeah. two, one, go. Another thing guys, I've had a reoccurring knee issue. So my patella, um, it's been giving me a little bit of an issue. I'm gonna try and take it easy. Once again, it happened for me, I was doing the squats. I'm not 100% sure what the injury is, but once again guys, progression, progression, progression. If you feel like you're injured, do not push yourself past that limit. Right now, I'm gonna take it back. I'm, not, I'm gonna try not to go as heavy with the squats, but I'm still gonna keep doing body weight stuff. It's probably not a good idea to do as much um, jump roping as I'm about to be, do with this, but you know, look, I'm not trying to end up like Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> Sheesh. Anyway, so that's gonna be my warm up. I'm just gonna do the jump rope, then we're gonna hop right into the routine. To all my returning journalists, yurt. Can I get a yurt? Anyway, welcome to the Fitness Journals LLC, the fitnessjournals.com, whatever it is. Guys, we always start with the warm up. We know the purpose of the warm up. Obviously, you don't have to do it with the weights. During this warm up, I actually did mess up my knee even more like I predicted would happen at the beginning. Guys, if you are new here, you might as well join the journalist family by hitting, hitting that subscribe button. We're about that calisthenics life. We don't have to work out in the gym if we don't want to, but you know, it's cold outside, so that's what we're doing. So take, you know, five, 10 minutes to do a little warm up. Oh shoot, heavyweight calisthenics. Irv, he about to do something. Come on, come on. Is he gonna land it? What do you think? Boom. All right. Talk to us, Irv. So the first exercise we're gonna do is the pull-ups. Uh, of course, you don't have to do 50 pull-ups straight. That's freaking incredible if you could do that. Shout out to you. But you just break it up, short rest in between, uh, and then move right back on to the next one. So once again, we're starting with the pull-ups. Then we go into inverted rows. It's 50 of everything. 50, 50, 50, 50. Every exercise you do, it's 50. So once again, I'm doing it with the weight, and I'm gonna drop the weight. Do it body weight. And I'm probably gonna do it again. I'm gonna try three times. The most I've done is two back to back. One with the weight, one without the weight. So let's get it on. So guys, this is the first exercise. We're starting with the pull-ups. Once again, full range of motion. The goal is not to bang out as many as you can in the shortest amount of time. 
um, that you can. No, where I'm not even timing myself for this. I'm making sure that I'm going through the full range of motion, engaging the muscles I want to engage, and I'll, of course, um, increase my strength, increase my endurance, and of course, overall performance. So, you know, sometimes people will come up to me and ask me, man, you know, I, I, how does it feel to not be motivated sometimes? And I'm like, look, honestly, I can't relate because I work on discipline, man. I work on discipline. I do what I have to do. It doesn't matter how I feel. Now, I, I haven't always been like that, but at this stage in my life, look, there's one life to live, really. I mean, it's like, oh, fitness isn't that serious. I'm not just talking about fitness. I'm talking about anything that you're trying to accomplish in life. And I'm just happy that, you know, fitness has been able to teach me that discipline that no one can give you a better level of fitness it is strictly up to you so guys uh pay attention to what's going on here i'm trying to avoid the kip as much as possible but once again i have 60 additional pan pounds strapped onto me you don't have to do it with 60 pounds but i'm trying to challenge myself let's hear what herb is going to say here so there's a total of 60 pounds 60 pounds with the vest plus ankle weight you don't have to do it with the weight at all but i'm challenging myself so y'all can do it strictly body weight or add a little bit of resistance. This dude basically said exactly what I just said. How crazy is that? We got the same wavelength, like he's thinking the same thing. Anyway, guys, so remember, if you're training, you're training. You training and exercise are two different things. Training, you have the end goal. You're trying to increase your performance. So, of course, if you're training, you shouldn't be able to just do the exercise without a challenge. You have to be able to have some sort of challenge. So, people are, oh, you, you, it takes you that long to do 50. Yeah, buddy, it's going to take me that long to do 50. So, the rest period, um, as you see, I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible. Take a short rest, hop back on the bar. bar. Take a short rest, hop back on the bar. So, uh, yeah, full range of motion. Chin over. It might appear from this angle that my chin is not going over, but I can assure you my chin is going over. So, quality repetitions. Quality quality that's what it's about quality and like i said you don't have to do it with 50 pounds or 60 pounds all right so uh the the vest is 50 pounds and the ankle weights are 10 pounds so once again i like the challenge when i drop the weight and do it without the weight i didn't do it this day um i should probably tell you guys right now i did not do it this day so remember it's a pace i'm not going as fast as i can every rep i wanted to count uh that's why if you gotta do onesies just like that, that's what I'm doing. So, uh, it's not that fast as you can, full range of motion, chin over, uh, full extension at the bottom. I'm doing it clean. Yeah, before I was interrupted, I was saying I did not drop the 50 pounds uh, and do the routine again this day, because usually, th this is the first time I did it without working out with partners. So, as you see, that did not count. No chin over, doesn't count. Be honest with yourself. If it's only you, keep yourself accountable. So yeah, usually I do it with partners. So that rest period where it takes them to go through it, I'm resting. But nah, this time I'm just going straight through it, straight through it with little to no rest in between. Uh, once again, if you drop off the bar, if you can only do one at a time, do one at a time. 40, I think. Remember, the goal is not to injure yourself. Uh, so take it don't if, if you're brand new and you haven't done routines like this if you really want to just challenge yourself You know, I'm not gonna limit you but be smart if you're gonna train hard train smart first You know if you can't do 50 uh, and you feel like that's gonna cause too much muscle damage Of course draw it back start with 10 10 uh, per, per exercise do 10 reps per exercise And as you get better as your muscles become more accustomed and adapt then of course you can move on so that's what it's about, progressive overload, uh, specific. You gotta be a specific type of exercise that you that will help you achieve your goal. So you need to know what your goal is. What is your goal? Why are you exercising? Why are you training? What is the purpose of it? Be honest with yourself, identify. If you're not sure, you know, just exercise. Just exercise. Uh, and like I said, exercise and training are two different things. Exercise, good, you keep your body in shape. Uh, training, there's more of a specific goal that you're trying to get to. So once again, just any if you're exercising, just keep it balanced no matter what it is. Balance, one more here, and then we're about to head over to the inverted rows, which you're gonna hear me say again in a couple of seconds. So guys, keep on watching. You could follow along with the routine or you know check back when you're ready. All right, so that 50 for the pulls. Um, now it's on to inverted rows. You gotta find a spot to do that. 
All right, so we're gonna do 50 right here, inverted rows. Once again, set the height where it's comfortable enough. Try and at least bang out a minimum of 10 per set. I mean, I, at, for the first set, I mean. So, um, I don't, I have never used, usually what I use is a dip station to do it. So, for this routine itself, I haven't used a straight bar. So, I'm gonna set a height where it's difficult enough. Once again, I'm using 50 pounds. This is where I'm gonna fill it for sure. So, let's get this shit going. You see, once again, my goal for every exercise that I do is to concentrate on the movements that I am performing, that mind-muscle connection. That's what helps me with my skill development as well when it comes with front levers, handstands, uh, you know, handstand push-ups, core stability, engaging specific muscles that are required for a specific movement. So keep that stuff in mind, guys. Don't just do the workout. Don't just go through the movement. Think about what you're doing. Mind-muscle connection. Think about what are you squeezing the bar? Are you not squeezing the bar? What grip do you have on the bar? What muscles, when you pull to the top, are you actually um, retracting your scapula? Think about those things. And as, once again, as you continue exercising, uh, training, you become more familiar with what's going on in your body. You want to be intelligent. You know, that muscle intelligence. Uh, so, you know, that also helps with avoiding injury. And if you have an injury, you can also focus on exactly what's going on, what needs to be engaged. So, like I said, uh, the best thing to do is you can adjust the height of the bar. So, if you aren't comfortable for the first set. So, here's what I was saying. For the first set, at least be, be able to bang out a minimum of 10 to 15, you know, at least for the first set. And then that should be a decent height. So, if it's too low and you can only do like three uh, you should raise the bar. You want to be able to get quality repetitions and not compromise your form. So no compromisation of your form. Focus on the movement. Focus on engaging the muscles that need to be engaged. My God. All in all, um, this specific exercise, of course, we're working the rear delts, uh, the latissimus, the lats. Uh, terrace major, terrace minor to a lesser degree, but you're still working those. You're working your upper, mid, upper, mid, and lower traps, pretty much that whole posterior chain there. Uh, not so much the, the lower back part, but of course with the stability. Look at the line of my body. I'm keeping that straight line there, straight line from the ankles right up there. Once you see the, the, the hips start to dip, you know, take that break, take that, take that rest, or if your chest is coming up way before your hips are, take that rest, take that time. I'm at 45 and you see I'm taking the time to rest one at a time, one at a time, because I want quality repetitions. I want quality repetitions. I'm not in the competition right now. I'm not going against anybody but myself and trying to get better. Once I drop the weight, it feels like I'm floating. Uh, that's why I like doing doing um, these more difficult routines with weight, because once I drop it, I'm like, damn, like this is easy as hell. And I try and stick with the with the, the weighted routines as, you know, for a couple weeks before I drop uh, and do it without the weight. Trust me, you want to get buff and jack, that's how you do it. That's the 50. That's the 50 inverted rows. Now it's on to the dips. After the dips, we hit the push-ups. After the push-ups, uh, I said I was gonna do burpees, but goddamn. I ain't gonna quit, we gonna do it. All right, so now we're on the dips. We're about to do dips. Uh, once again, everything for me is with the 60 pound, with the 50 pound weight vest and the 10 uh, pound ankle weight. So, uh, once again, everything's so in control. I don't know if you noticed how I'm going through everything. Full range of motion, taking time. 50 it might seem like a lot. Um, it definitely will feel like a lot when you're doing it like that. I'm not saying I go, like three, th three on the tempo, three coming up, three going down, not like that. But you know, just engage the muscle, focus on what you're doing. That's the purpose of this routine. It's a lot of volume. Um, I would say it's like moderate, moderate resistance, moderate, um, because when you think about how many reps you can do per set, it's not really that much once you start getting fatigued. But anyway, um, I'm supposed to be doing a voiceover, so I don't have to keep talking. Let's get into this freaking set. Now I have a couple of dip exercises, uh, uh, routines on this channel. So if you want to go and learn more about the muscles that are being engaged when you're doing different different points in leverage of the dips, 
go ahead and check out that video i'm going to put the card right up there so guys once again full range of motion at least hit that 90 degree you don't want to go down too far especially with the additional weight you don't want to snap down too far too fast you will cause damage to your front delt well your shoulder in general the entire shoulder capsule you do not want to mess up your shoulder guys Shoulder injuries are a dime a dozen, and there's a reason why, because people do not pay attention to their form when it comes to things like this. You might just think I'm just going up and down, up and down. No, I am consciously thinking about what muscles I am engaging when I get down, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing all the way through, squeezing the bar. I'm actually squeezing the bar, not just resting my hands there. I want that grip to work while I'm doing that as well. So, you know, all those things, I'm even squeezing my glutes. I'm squeezing my glutes together so my feet aren't flailing all over the place. I'm trying to control. You save energy, save energy, utilize things. So I basically just bang through those. Um, man, I probably, I'm going to try doing the, the 50 straight next time. I was slacking. I didn't eat at all that day, so, you know, cut me some slack. That 50. Now it's on to the 50 push ups, 50 jump squats. I really don't want to do them burpees, but we're going to do it. Now, if you made it this far into the video, uh, I think you deserve some free merch. So, what I'm going to tell you to do right now comment, let's do some pull ups in the comment section below we're doing push-ups <laughs> why are you saying let's do some pull-ups because we do pull-ups anyway right now my mind is doing pull-ups so pull-ups right let's do some pull-ups in the comment section below and uh the first person who i see no i'm not comment it if you comment it i'm going to select you at random so you know there's been a couple of people who run one shirts uh just do that you get a free shirt you know it's merch whatever rep the game so guys uh as you see here now we are on to the the push-ups once again guys i'm not just banging out as many as, until i get fatigued i want to actually be conscious of what muscles i'm working uh going through the full range of motion no compromisation of form that's gonna you're gonna hear me say that time and time again because that is so important you know uh the more you can do that go through the full range of motion i have I, if you guys follow brain gains you know about this stuff so if you are not subscribed here, subscribe right now. I just put the card to Brain Gains right there. Go and check out Brain Gains, and you're going to learn about that. You know, full range of motion, why you should be doing full range of motion. Shorties, should you be doing short range of motion? Yes, they have their purpose, and since we have that in the video, the Brain Gains, you're going to learn from, from there. So guys, let's do some pull-ups. Comment that in the comment section below. Win yourself some free merch. Push-ups, we're done. Now it is on to breaking my knee some more. Hey, retro fitness members, are you hungry? One more. Jump squats. So remember, there's a fine line between making excuses and actually being injured. So, like I mentioned, my patella. Uh, I am having an issue there. I'm experiencing pain right now. I did the, the jumping jacks earlier, not the jumping jacks, the jump rope with this. And like I said at the beginning, it's probably a dumb idea. Don't follow what I uh, do, follow what I say. So anyway, I'm still gonna do the jump squats. I at, at least gotta finish that, even though tomorrow is like day. Once again, so uh, I'm gonna take it easy. If you really don't have an injury and you're just making a, an excuse, freaking do it. No excuse, we don't make excuses around. So you should know that I did cross that fine line and uh, you should know that I actually had to skip leg day because my knee was in such severe pain. So even as I am standing here right now, uh, editing and doing this voiceover, my knee is in pain. If I bend my knee, I do feel some serious pain. So uh, guys, once again, we're training smart. If you just saw uh, my last brain games post on my Instagram you would have seen that I talked about this being smart when it comes to these type of things like injuries. Like you cannot progress if you're injured. Why would you want to try and work through an injury that is not getting, that has not healed yet? Uh, so once again, I'm taking my own advice and drawing that, taking those precautions, taking that rehab, those rehab steps to uh, get my knee back to, you know, 100% or as close to it as possible. So once again, I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm not a bodybuilder. I my legs, I they are proportionate to my upper body. Um, I do do weighted legs, 
because I do a lot of weighted upper body calisthenics. So for that for that reason, I need to be able to balance it out by doing weighted uh, weighted legs. So guys, remember, it's balance. It's all about balance. Uh, if you don't have a prep program, if you don't have a plan, you will eventually run into some imbalances. I talked about that in the brain games, by the way, too. So you should probably go and check it out. So trying to explode at the top of the movement, I'm not going to lie. My knee at this point was totally shot, but you know, I was doing my, I'm like, look, I'm recording the video at least finish it. Uh, oh, and by the way, I, as you would have saw with the dips, I actually did one less. So, sorry about that. Alright, so, like I said, that knee butt, I'm still going to do the 50 burpees. But I'm not going to do it with the weight vest. You can't train if you're injured. So, uh, obviously, I want to keep training. That way, I'm just going to drop that. That's that for the main routine. That's what I've been doing the past two weeks uh, with that. So the burpees is a new one I was adding right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a go. None of this is timed, but obviously I can look back and see how long it took me. And eventually I want to cut down minutes off my time. So let's do the freaking burpees. So one thing when I'm working out, I'll like automatically just start adding stuff as I go to the normal routine. So I'm like, well, you know what I'm going to try and do? I'm going to try and do at least two handstand push-ups uh, at the beginning of every burpee set. So if I break, I'll do two handstand push-ups and then continue. Needless to say, that didn't really work out. My upper, my upper body was shot from that. But I like doing things that are challenging at the end of a routine as well. So like my burnout... I'll always end doing like handstand push-ups, pistol squats, whatever it is. If I do a leg day, um, heavy legs, I want to end by doing pistol squats. If I do some crazy upper body stuff, I want to be able to, uh, you know, bang out 10 handstand push-ups as soon as I finish uh, and see if I'm capable of doing it even after a hardcore routine. Uh, for the first couple, I was able to do it, but after that, my body just wasn't having it. So guys, these are burpees. Uh, I'm not going to get ahead just yet, but these are the standard burpees that you see here. You know, kick out. To reduce the amount of pressure that's coming on your knees, you want to straddle. So as you see, my legs are, are opened up, straddled like that. Come land and look at how I'm landing back on the balls of my feet nice and slow, nice and, and controlled. That's what we're doing. Make sure you finish the set. Nah, 20. So that was, that's what I was trying to do. Um... Don't sit down, get up, get up, there we go. Don't sit down, you get up, you fill those lungs with air. Fill those lungs with air. You might not feel, you might not feel like you could stand, but you stand up and fill those lungs with air. Don't, don't, um, what's it called? Don't compress your lungs. Don't, don't, uh, you know, inhibit their ability to take in as much, uh, as much oxygen as possible when you are tired. So there we go. Let's see. Do you got it? Nope. He's like, yay, hey, it's not going to happen. Shake it off. Are you going to do it? Look at the camera in disappointment. Nod your head. It's going to be all right, buddy. So guys, what is your favorite body weight exercise? Your favorite? Just one. One body weight exercise that you just enjoy doing all the time. Write it in the comment section below. I want to see something. For real. Comment it below. If you're still here. It's 23 minutes in. 23 minutes, 24 reps. Oh, nice. Okay. 25 you got 25 to go 25 to go and trust and believe i am feeling it uh it's about the discipline if you set and this is why setting a routine having a routine having a program is important because had i not had this or said i was going to do it i probably would have not done it it's, it's a fact it's a fact um the fact that i said i am going to do burpees this is my first time adding burpees into this routine i had to do it so i'm like i don't care if it takes me an hour uh, if I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And like I said, believe you me, I was feeling it. You know, so I'm trying my best not to sit down. I am out of the air. Out of the air. This is cardio conditioning, you know, all that stuff in one. Um, and once again, this is at the end. Usually, you know, people would resort to doing these type of exercises at the beginning. I like a challenge. I like to push myself outside of the norm. Shout out Business Body Elite, Corporate Wellness. We bringing something different to you guys. Uh, 
I'll be discussing more about that in the future. Now, as you see here, it was already difficult, but I like to challenge myself. I like to challenge myself. So, you know, I'm like, look, let's get a little bit more dynamic with it. Um, needless to say, that can also be one of my downfalls because when I was doing that, I was really jacking up my knee. So jump, land my knee. If you could kind of see, I'm landing a little bit awkward because I'm trying to take that pressure off my knee. But I like a challenge. But be smart, guys. Be wise. Be wise. You can't get better and progress if you're injured. You know, I, I don't know. If, am I the only per person with that problem? It's hard for me not to, to work. And I feel like even if I'm injured, I should always be doing something. All right. Uh, not bad. So, 10 more for the 50. My knee is freaking jacked up. Uh, probably gonna have to use some Epsom, Epsom salt, turmeric, all that anti inflammation because I feel it. And tomorrow's supposed to be like day, so. You gotta do what you gotta do. 10 more. As you see, towards the end, I'm able to do a little bit more. Explosive and, and dynamic. So you're not as tired as you think you are. Like I said, anything short of an injury don't make any excuses. You know, the bottom line is you're not as tired as you think you are. When you think you're done, you got, you're only 40% there. You know, you can push, you can push. That's the only way you get better. As you see that jump, man, my knee is messed up. So I actually wasn't sure how many, I think I had like thought I missed a couple. So for safety, I um, ended up doing a couple more. So it was 46, I had said 10 more, I ended up doing 51 or something. I guess that makes up for my, my the missed dip that I did. So this is basically the end of the routine. Uh, we're gonna talk about one more thing after this. You guys are gonna hear it. Boom, that is it. The 50, 50, 50, how many 50s that was. Guys, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Shout out to all my returning journalists. The like. Shout out to all my returning journalists. Make sure you share this video. You know the drill. That's it. We're out. I know I technically ended the video already, but I'm gonna do a foam rolling set. I remember if you're doing something like that, what I just did, take some time to foam roll, uh, fascia release, all that good stuff. Remember, right now my knee is killing me. My knee's on fire. I just sat there for about 20 minutes after. Damn, I'm out of focus. About 20 minutes after the routine and like massage my knee, so shit, not gonna be squatting heavy for a while. Now I fast forward this whole video because you know I I have videos dedicated strictly to mobility and stretching, and I have a lot more to post. So uh, basically, I'm just showing you how I'm ending my routine, making sure that I do what I have to do to, of course, get the best out of each workout, get that blood flow, uh, mu tight muscles. You're bound to get injuries when you're doing stuff like uh, this amount of resistance. Those muscles are get bundled up. You're not giving them room to breathe. You're not getting enough nutrients into those muscles. So um, me, myself, I need to do foam rolling mo and mobility training a lot more than I'm doing it now. You know, so once again, as you get older and these things, you got to keep these things in mind. I'm not that old, but look, I'm thinking ahead for the future. I'm 24 years old, but you got to think for the future. All right, that light right there, ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. Uh, Y'all can't see me. Where is the light? Right here. That is a wrap. We're done. Finished. Finito. That is it. So, um, as you saw with the with the, the stretching, any side that I did, I was just focusing really on my my hurt knee, my hurt knee. Um, but generally, do both sides. I should have done both sides. Probably gonna stop recording and complete both sides, but my battery's about to die, right? That's the excuse that YouTubers use every time. My battery's about to die. They don't finish the workout, oh, my battery's about to die. You know, but anyway, I am gonna finish it, guys. Uh, that is it. Once again, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Out of here.